Hey guys, welcome to our brand new series, Gnarly Stories of Scripture. Our hope with this series is that as you guys dig into your Bibles with these stories, that you find a desire to want to read your Bibles more and also see what God has done in the past and know that that same God can do the same thing for you today. So, how many of you guys have seen the movie Lightyear? Lightyear is this movie about this character, Buzz, who goes on this mission to fix time so that he can finish the mission. And it's this super cool story. But what's even more interesting about it is the story behind the movie. So the reason the movie Lightyear was created was to give an origin story to the character Buzz from Toy Story. And the idea is that this is the movie that the character Andy, who had the toy Buzz, would have watched to desire the toy Buzz. And so it's this really cool kind of mixed together thing that Pixar has done in taking a toy of a character who's a movie character into a movie and, and it's just this whole thing. So that's crazy, uh, crazy origin story. Uh, so I thought, what better way to kick off our series than talking about the origin story of sin and the fall of man. Our story takes place in the Garden of Eden. This is where God walked with man and spent time growing in relationship with him. Man and woman had just been created and were told to enjoy all that God had created for them, but not to eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, as per verse 2 in chapter 2, or verse 17 in chapter 2, excuse me. So they were going about their jobs and they suddenly met Satan. Now there are three primary characters in this story. Satan, who is also called the serpent, uh, that's referenced in Revelation, the book of Revelation 12, 9. It calls Satan the ancient serpent. And Adam and Eve, who had been freshly created in Genesis 1 and 2. So this is, this is where our Bible passage picks up. Adam and Eve are just going about their regular day, and they run into Satan, and this is what he says to them. Now the serpent was more crafty than, than any other wild animal the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, Did God really say that you shall not eat from any tree in the garden? The woman said to the serpent, We may eat from fruit from the trees in the garden, but God did say you must not eat from the tree from the tree that is in the middle of the garden, and you must not touch it, or you will surely die. You will not surely die, said the serpent, for God knows that if you eat it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be made like God knowing good and evil. So, um, this was uh, a test for Adam and Eve. They only knew what God had shown them, and so they chose to put this to the test. They ate, and they were stripped of their innocence, and suddenly sin and shame entered humanity and the world. And this is what it says in verse 7. It says, uh, picking up here, then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they realized they were naked. So they sewed fig leaves together and made coverings for themselves. So they were, they were realized that they were naked. They, they understood all of a sudden what it meant to feel shame. And uh, they ran and hid from God as a result. And God came looking for them because he had been building this great relationship with them. And he comes and asks, where are they? And after some convincing, Adam comes out and tells God what happened. And God's like, how did this happen? And after some blame shifting, Adam blaming the woman and the woman blaming the snake, God deals out the consequences for what happened. And the consequences go as far to say that the relationship with God has been severed and that man has to leave the garden and has to fend for themselves uh, out on the plains for food and things. So all this was a result of man's disobedience to God, and it wouldn't be resolved until Jesus died on the cross. That way, the, the tear between man and God could be mended. So what does that mean for, for us? Well, simply put, we need to obey what God has for us to do. Because if we don't, we can't experience that great relationship that he has for us and desires for us. 
So the challenge this week from this passage is when God tells you to do something, to do it. That way you can stay step in relationship with him and can fully experience what he desires for you. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and we'll see you next week for our next story.